so the buffer placement will look something like this so initially there is a PLL there is there, there, there will be someone out sitting outside the clock sitting outside the chip who will be driving this net load this load this capacitive load and th this buffer in turn will be driving this particular load which is again within its capacity within its capacity within its utilization and uh, this uh, it will be driving this load and the input cap of this particular buffer similarly this buffers will be again driving the this particular le net length of the wire and the input cap of all this uh, all these buffers and so on so this will uh, again propagate through the complete uh, through the complete clock tree till it reaches this particular clock endpoint so we have seen all this and also we have seen why we are using clock buffers and not regular buffers so all this has been done in the past so our 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 aim is to now to characterize this particular clock tree so let us try to do that also th this could be a part of the of, of your homework but let us try to do this and try to understand the specifications in greater detail for a for a clock tree whose clock and points are not are not even and ideal they are uneven and irregular so let us try to calculate the uh, let us try to build up the uh, the quality check parameters and look into the quality check parameters of this particular clock tree so we'll start with the checklist 